Sometimes you're going to have uh, information in a PDF file or a scanned document, which is typically, typically going to be a PDF, and you're going to need to get that into a Word document. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So let's say, for instance, um, I'm telling somebody uh, maybe this is an application for a, a job or some sort of promotional um, or, or like a promotion document, which is something I've had to do recently. Um, and I'm telling somebody that I am a member of the, oops, excuse me, the APS, which is the American Physiological Society, which I am. Um, so I say that, whatever, I obviously would make it prettier looking than this, but uh, that's what I'm trying to say, and I want to show proof of that. So I, I, right here I have um, a PDF document of her certificate from the American Physiological Society saying that I'm a member. So you cannot easily, at least no way that I'm aware of, you can't easily take a PDF document and insert it into a Word document. But what you can do is, though, if you open this in Adobe, and I'm sure other PDF softwares can do this too, but uh, I know how to do it in Adobe. Um, so open it up, go to Save As, and now if you change from PDF in the Save As type and go down to JPEG, so right here, JPEG, and hit Save. So what that's going to do is it's going to convert the PDF document into um, image documents. And if this was more than one page long, it would convert each page individually into different images. Um, so we can go ahead and minimize this for now. Um, let's bring this over here so you can see what I have now. Um, so this is my original PDF document, and in the same folder where that lives is now a image file version of the same thing. So once this opens, you'll see that it's the same, P oh, same image of that certificate as what was in the um, PDF document. So you see that right there. So now let's um, bring this into Word. So I'm just going to drag it over and there it is. So now you can get any PDF document into an image file and then bring the image file into Word. And let's say you want this to look as though it was a page all of its own. That's easy to do as well. So just do a um, insert a page break and now it's on its own page and it makes it look like this entire page is dedicated to this one document. And now another thing that you can do since most documents are going to be in um, portrait mode, so the documents are going to be up and down, you can change throughout portrait and landscape which is side to side within the same Word document which would look a lot nicer here than having all this white space and having this um, certificate not take up the whole page. So let's go ahead and get rid of that um, that page break that I did and instead of doing a page break we're going to do a section break. So, so go to page layout and click on breaks and for this section here where it's section breaks click on next page. So what that did was it just made it so um, this page with the the PDF or of the image of the original PDF on it, it's now a completely different section within Word, so you can do different formatting for that. So let's keep this original um, uh, this original page up here with my text as a portrait, so up and down, which is the typical, and then let's just change this one. So we'll click down here and under page layout, go to orientation, and let's go to landscape. So now you see we have a portrait on top, we have landscape on bottom, and we can expand this so it takes up most of the page. It'll look a little nicer that way. And so now we have what looks like a full page dedicated to our text on top, a full page dedicated to our um, document that was originally a PDF document. And if we want to go back to um, having a, a normal portrait mode, so we can continue writing text after this document. We just go in, hit breaks again, and then next page for the section break. And now we can turn this next page back into portrait. And so now we go from portrait to landscape and back to portrait again so we can type and do whatever it is we're doing. All right, so that's a quick tutorial on how to get a PDF document into Word as well as how to go back and forth between portrait and landscape in Word.